Hi everyone and welcome to our training today on how to use photos with WordPress Gutenberg. My name is Jana Stevens and I am a content strategist with InfoMedia and I'm very excited today to show you a few tips and tricks for using photos on blog posts and other types of posts in WordPress using the new Gutenberg editor. In a previous training, we discussed what Gutenberg is and why you need to know how to use it. So I'm gonna reiterate that. Gutenberg is the new WordPress editor and it helps you create content in a visual way. Gutenberg provides you with a library of blocks. These are pre-built elements to help you create your content. Gutenberg is also nice because it helps you see how your content is gonna look without having to preview. So let's dive in and talk about a few different ways that you can use images. The first is our most basic block in Gutenberg. It's the image block. And this is gonna allow you to upload an image directly into a post, or you can also choose one from your media library. So these slides are gonna have screenshots and then we're actually gonna dive into Gutenberg to get a closer look at how to put this into practice. Your next option is a cover block. This is a little bit more involved than the image block. It's gonna allow your image to have a text overlay and you can either bold or italicize your text. You can also link the text and you can also change the overlay color of your image photo. The next image option is the media and text block. And this is for images with a text wrap. You can align your text using this block either left or right. You can also choose to put that text in either paragraph, header, or list format. And you can also change the paragraph text size, and you're gonna do that in the right-hand sidebar. The gallery block is a new and very cool option, and it's gonna allow you to display multiple images. So you can actually change the layout of your image um, or your image gallery um, by either increasing or decreasing the number of columns. And you can also individually label those images with captions. So if you have a photography blog, for example, or you just have a lot of images to display, the gallery block is gonna be a really good option for that. And the last way that we're gonna discuss in using photos in Gutenberg is embedding from either Instagram or Flickr. So images from social media sites such as Instagram or hosting sites like Flickr can also be displayed. And each of those are gonna have a block in Gutenberg You'll choose that block and then you'll paste the URL of the content that you want to display. So let's jump in. We're going to put it into practice and see how these work using Gutenberg. I've gone to WordPress, I've gone to make a new blog post, and now let's take a look at some of these blocks in action. The first one that we're going to take a look at is the image block. And again, this one is one of the most commonly used if you're looking to add a photo to your blog post. I'm going to check in my media library. And so you can see that my image has been inserted and I do have the option to align it a certain way. I can also make it a wide width photo or even full width. When you have an image, you can also write a caption. So here's our image block. Now moving further down, let's take a look at the cover block. This is a little bit different than the image. In a cover block, remember that we can insert text as an overlay on the image, and we can also use an overlay color. Now that overlay color can be set over on the right hand side of your screen.
You can also make this text bold. You can italicize it. You can make it a link. You can do a strike through as well. And then just like we saw above, we can also make the photo wide width or full width. We can also align it certain ways. So here is our cover block. The next block that we're going to take a look at is the media and text option. Now this one's not showing in my most used blocks. So I'm just going to start typing and it's going to show up. And this block is going to allow me to insert an image with text beside it. So I have the option to upload. I can also go to my media library to see photos that I already have. And here again, we can specify our font size. We can make it large. We can also either make it smaller or even larger. We can also set a custom font size. We also have the option here to set a background color. We can set a text color as well. So there are a lot of options if you're looking to use the media and text block. If you have a blog post that is going to be very photo heavy, or if you have a photography blog, the gallery block might be a great option for you to show off your photos. And this is showing in my most used blocks. I'm going to go to my media library. I'll choose some photos. And create a new gallery. So here you can either drag and drop if you want to reorder your files. You can also go ahead and give those images captions here. So I will do that. And here's my gallery. I also have the option to continue to add images to that gallery. I can choose my gallery alignment. So again, if I want this wide width or full width, I can do that. And over here on the right hand side, I can choose my number of columns. Maybe I just want it to be a two column gallery. And so you can see it changes a little bit how my photos are displayed. Now the last option again is to either embed from Instagram or Flickr. And if you just go to search for your blocks, there is our Instagram. And then we also have the Flickr blog. So from that, you can insert a URL and you can embed an image. And again, if you want to preview your post, even though it does show very similar to what you're going to see in uh, your post after publishing, you can always click on preview. Here's our image. Here's our cover block, media and text, and then gallery. So there you have it. Those are just a few ways that you can use images and photos in Gutenberg. I definitely encourage you to log in, click around, play around with this, um, and find which options work best for you. Thanks.